Mmm, Chinese food. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> can you smell what the rocks got cooking? We're back significantly later after doing a, a Chinese food order. Uh, I got sweet and sour that. fish. Yeah, first it was gonna be Japanese, and then it was gonna be Chinese, then it was gonna be Thai, and then it was like, what's fucking open? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bad timing in, it was the, in COVID. So. It's my, it's my first. Yeah, we didn't plan it that ahead. I, I don't. It was my first ever time ordering food. Like <laughs> ever? Whoa! No, no, like via like the new wave of like apps. I've never used. I still technically haven't really used it. <laughs> like DoorDash or I just, I just Grubhub. I just piggyback or... on other people's usage, but yeah, I never used DoorDash or Grubhub or even Uber or Lyft. I'm like the whole new like weird like app automation economy like this is the first time i've ever ordered anything i use like, uber all the time just being locked in all day you just start to lose your goddamn mind and it's like food i want real food so i had a I had a chow mein bowl with a garlic fried fish and it's like this is a good <laughs> yeah it's already lasted me two meals so later today i'm gonna have like whatever leftover garlic fried fish with whatever dip i choose <laughs> and that'll be like another Keith meal. wants to do ketchup it's I'm trying like, to tell him. Well, we don't no. have tartar sauce. Well, no, no, no. Fish and chips. This is a garlic. It, it, it's a Chinese style I, fish. I've, yeah, but I've eaten them. They're 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 they're, they're, they're fish and chips. <laughs> they're not that far they're off. Like from tempura like, battered though. Yeah, but it's it's fish. It tastes like fish and chips. I have this really good. Try, it tastes good. Try my, try my miso dressing. I get that miso dressing from Costco. Oh, fine, and it's I'll so try good. it. Try it. It's so good. Throw it all away. It's like, <laughs> no, I use it on everything. I eat pizza with it. Anyway, I did a puff on me. Bubba jibbo. He thinks we're snot. He thinks we're not we're ourselves. He thinks we're he's his kids. Yes. So. He thinks we're uh, Meg and Keith. <laughs> Boy, is he wrong. The two least attractive names in the English language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know Stephanie's not in there. That's a lawyer's badge? I yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. That is true, actually. What? Well, everyone, al everyone else just, like, doesn't give you any respect about it. Yeah, I think everyone knows. Well, they know it, but they just <clears throat> don't, like, care. Yeah. I get it. Huh? Yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Yeah, Keith could never be a lawyer. <laughs> oh no, the identity crisis. <laughs> I was next to be with me because my mom wanted me to be a lawyer. Really? Yes. We talked about this before. Oh wait, we did. Yeah. Wait, but she she named you Keith because she wanted you to be a lawyer? No. What? Uh, I got confused. I was <laughs> no. like, I wouldn't assume Keith no, was you, a lawyer kind you of drew name. You a strange connection. <laughs> I did. I did. No. Yeah, it's not. But it's just like a really specific like identity crisis. This character, you're not Keith. You're a lawyer. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> but other timeline. This is like fucking Ghost of Christmas Future shit. Except it's like you could have been making less money at a higher profile job, <laughs> or you don't get any work. <laughs> you have to take care of some kid that won't leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> And, and everyone you love dies. Oh my god. <laughs> like, this is way worse. <laughs> yeah. I think you're doing okay. Yeah. Um, I was named after Stevie Nicks. And Speaking of Nick. Yeah, Nick. Yeah. I saw, you know, I saw that too. I was like, hey, yeah. now's our chance to clear things up. I'm not a singer, so I'm a disappointment um, too. Sir? No, I'm not Keith. Oh, it's funny you have to say that. <laughs> Shoot him. I'm the real Keith. <laughs> and I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on the, this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm. A lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. No, you can't promise that. Or can we? No, that's a terrible <laughs> thing to do. It just becomes cooking mama. <laughs> oh gosh. From here on out. The game's completely different. It's like you're not yeah. a lawyer anymore. I can't make that promise. Is that any way to treat your old man? You want my help? You, you come to the wrong man. Uh-oh. Now he's grumpy. 
Not to mention he still thinks we're his kids. Maybe we should just lie and say we'll run a shop? Is that really the right thing to do? Ethics! <laughs> Alright. I mean, ethics are already out the window. Like, remember the conviction we got because we blackmailed somebody while they were on the witness stand? Yeah. And then they just confessed to the murder? <laughs> that that's how we won the case? Yeah. They just blackmailed someone in front of everyone, and it was like, that's okay. Well, I mean, we've <laughs> we'll let this happen. This uh, courtroom's forgiven a lot of people. It's forgiven yeah, the, the wiretap, the wiretap people, and the people that yeah. do other crimes. So you know, it's whatever. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. It actually might be more lucrative than your actual job, Phoenix. Right? Because you apparently <laughs> don't make any money. Patrons. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if they have any patrons. The wet noodles I think like he's just deranged and he's just pretending this place exists. The wet noodles in like an alleyway, and it's like no one goes there. It's in like the dark side of town. Like at least Maya was at least under the impression that this is the wet noodle. But wait, no, he's under the impression of that too. Oh, oh he thinks this. He thinks yeah. he's running the wet noodle here, and just some kids keep wanting to use his his boats. Oh yeah, huh? He doesn't understand that like the boats are the thing. I don't know if he's charging anyone for anything. I don't know. Uh, who gave this guy this job? Yes. <laughs> I think he just showed up like a force of nature one day. Someone's just, just like... threw out of the floor like Tommy. <laughs> oh gosh. But less hot. That's the wet noodle. <laughs> also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Yeah, oh my gosh, Keith. Sorry. <laughs> Very, like, nearby us, there is a shop called the Phoenix Noodle. Is a phoenix noodle and a dragon palace? Yes. And I can say that because that's such a, a, a that's such a normalized name that we, I feel we, like we it need appears to, everywhere. We, we need to even out the courts. We need a basilisk restaurant and a griffin restaurant. I think if you if you had a restaurant. if you had a griffin restaurant, I think it'd be pretty popular. But no, there was yeah. a there was a phoenix noodle house not too far. Hmm. Someone's gonna knock on our door tomorrow. <laughs> no, that's Even a. Even the video's not out yet. <laughs> that, dude, that's a. Co it's common. It's a common noodle shop name. Don't worry about it. I guess so. Apparently, but I think it's funny. I guess so. <laughs> oh, I guess so. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> oh God, we're never gonna escape this. That's my boy. Good to see. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Keith. Good for you, Keith. Oh, I wish my real daddy would say that. Oh. <laughs> Wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Y yes <laughs> You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what was that they wanted? They wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello. Er... Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Be more interesting. <laughs> the, the bird that never moves. <laughs> it just repeats things. I mean, that bird is pretty vibrant. Gun. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, he, he doesn't care about doesn't us care at all. Gun. Hmm. Wow. Do you hear these shots? Oh, what an annoying and long exchange yeah. to do every time. What do you- what does this game want? Parrot. Polly, here's my only friend in this world. Isn't that right, Polly? Hello! Hello! Depressing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that, that, that parrot's like, yep, you're a lonely bitch! <laughs> <laughs> no one will love you! No one will love you! <laughs> <laughs> we can't even get him to acknowledge the murder. In any way, I yeah. don't lose my mind. Like I said, I hope that in court we call the parrot because I think the parrot's the only one who will. Oh, that's the one that works. Great. All right. <laughs> uh, yep, I seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can't get over it. It's okay. Oh. You can call me Dad. Call him Dad, <laughs> Keith. Is it Dad? <laughs> <laughs> you know something about this? Oh, cute. Hey, <laughs> the other night. <laughs> 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 that 
the fuck do you get through this? See, now I wish I had voiced that character because then I could tell you to call me call me dad. <laughs> call me Call daddy. me dad, kid. The other night, out on the lake. Yes? Yes? I know all about that. I seen it. What? <laughs> tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shopping hall. Uh... Yeah, go on. Do I... Go on, okay. sir. <laughs> I forgot the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. Yep. Probably night time. Is, this is not great testimony already. It was after midnight, but okay. So super night time. Yeah, super darkness. Advanced darkness. Advanced <laughs> darkness. <laughs> then I heard this bang. So I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang. This game has such good music when it has music and not bird chirps. <laughs> <laughs> a little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. What did he look like? He was muttering something to himself. Yep. What did he say? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what he's... Hmm, I see. I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, promise. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Eh... Uh, little Terry was just here. Terry? Yep, that kid next door. He always used to make him cry, remember? He's wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers grown out of his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. Oh, Terry. How oh, cute. He, go he comes up and tells me to come down in court tomorrow. Really? Somehow, I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, wait, I had one more question. Yeah, give us something, otherwise this puzzle didn't give us anything and we could have just gotten to court tomorrow. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? <laughs> don't forget DL6! <laughs> Wow, that's so specific. What? Huh? What a specific thing to that's say. That's one of the past phrases that makes him say something? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6. Rah! What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister. I, I mean, dad. Yes. <laughs> this is getting weird. Who is this old guy? He's got, like, advanced apnea. Wait, we're leaving? That's not ap- well, Why would we leave? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? Not- sorry, not apnea. Uh... Narcolepsy. Uh, narcolepsy, yeah. Advanced narcolepsy. Advanced narcolepsy. <laughs> yeah, he just comes- he, He's just- a, he's, he's more sleeper than- than waker. <laughs> he's had a he's just, long day. He just briefly dreams reality out of his dreams. <laughs> he's been running a noodle shop all day, Keith, okay? He's a tired yeah. man. <laughs> He's running in his dreams. We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Wait, yeah, just the inside then. Yeah, okay. the normal side. Yeah, the, yeah, the, <laughs> where the lock is. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. That is odd. That's all we got out of that. We already knew he was a witness, and he didn't give us any information. So all we got out of this was to keep poking at the thing that we've been told to poke at for the last two cases. So, I mean, so Polly said that. Don't forget about the DL6. And it, so, so Polly's giving us a direct clue, or is Polly... Re I, I would assume a parrot only repeats things it's already heard. Yeah. So I'm thinking someone said, don't don't forget the DL6 incident, but oh, yeah. in, in this yeah, she game... Said you, he said you basically have to say, like, the passphrases that'll make them the bird react a certain way. No, but, but, but what I'm saying is, like, usually a parrot only says what it's already heard. Yeah. But I'm assuming this parrot's literally just telling us, hey... Phoenix and Maya, don't forget the DL6 incident. Like, it has its own thoughts, and it's telling us to not forget the DL6 incident. I think incident. the parrot was trained to say that in response to certain things. 
maybe oh my god it's like memento it's like memento oh my god. where the old man knew that he was gonna forget everything because yeah. of dementia and so he has the parrot tell him everything about his yeah, life yeah and, and then he then he, but he tells the but he tells the parrot lies <laughs> so he can have a happier face. the parrot life. the parrot's like kill that man what kill that man that man murdered your wife <laughs> 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 hey pal long time no see you don't look so happy What's wrong this time? Actually, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah? You know the boat rental shop down in Gord Lake? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course he does. That's the where his man witness who, came from. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How'd you... That was supposed to be top secret. Well... <laughs> Do you know who that old man is, Detective? My father. Oh gosh. Detective Keith Gumshoe. No, his, his actual name's Keith. Oh my oh, god. No. He's being mistaken as Terry. Doesn't recognize me anymore. It's really sad. That this is, is actually. This that would is be my sad. tragic backstory. Oh, Gumshoe. Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. <laughs> bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. Oh no. Yeah, so why is he a witness? <sighs> oh, trial's gonna be so exhausting. Oh, <laughs> I'm man. gonna hate it so much. Oh no, yeah, I wonder how many snot bubbles we'll see. Ah! We should, I don't wanna go to trial. We should count how many snot bubbles we'll see. Somebody give him a coffee. Trial. Somebody give him a Pepsi. All he needs is a Pepsi. Oh. <laughs> I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. You are right. That's why we called <laughs> Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. So all of the witnesses are terrible. Dude, you can't, Almost like you he can't didn't do it. bring that man up. Like, he's not a reliable source. Like, That's all we got. <laughs> if I can just discredit all of their embarrassing witnesses, maybe Edgeworth just gets off. <laughs> well, Even though this is bullshit to mention where you have to, like, convict the real killer in court magically because they're a witness. Well, then, you know, it's funny because it. in that little flashback the old man gave us, the, the, the body falls into the lake. Yeah. And it occurred to me that, like, we aren't even aware... Of how they found the body, we we have incredibly we have nothing. information. We have no information on anything. Edgeworth just not talking to us. He didn't tell. He, we have no information about him at all. We don't like, even know well, like how they does found he the have body. An alibi? Was he there? What's going on? Did the body wash up on shore? Was it like concrete shoed? I don't know. I don't know anything about this was at all. It concrete shoed. <laughs> well, yeah. they found the body the day of the murder, so no. <laughs> well, it wasn't like hidden elaborately. I don't know. As for who he is... Maybe Gordy killed him. We have absolutely no idea. There's not, like, an employee record? What if he's... Is what? he a squatter? <laughs> or a squawker? <laughs> uh, I get the impression he's a squatter, but the people who, who like, own the place just take advantage of the fact that he thinks it's a noodle shop to get him to basically run their boat shop he's just for no money. He's just an old man. So I think they're taking Maybe advantage they of him. Maybe they keep bringing him noodles so he doesn't starve, and then he thinks he runs a noodle shop shop. And they're like, just keep tending to the boats, okay? And he's like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I run a noodle shop. And he just <laughs> keeps doing it. Free labor. You hmm. want to see Keith again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sounds suspicious. It is very suspicious, Maya. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was Edgeworth's fa- That's- that was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it's something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. They're forbidden from reading the file. The police. <laughs> Can't hmm. read the file. What? Because one of the people in the case was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know about this. Yeah, who decides that? However, if you can convince me somehow the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file but, up. But that's already that's already considered to be Edgeworth's motive yeah, for doing course, it. Yeah, of course it's related to the case. It's already related even if you think Edgeworth did it. Two of the it. people in the case are in this one. Yeah, 
Do you think they just like met up by chance? One of them's the murder suspect and one of them's the victim. It's really straightforward. It's not as if like Edge was like, I, uh, I just want to murder someone today. I, yeah, it's going to be a I, random person. Why do I have to convince him of things? I don't know. That's mm. All right. <sighs> <clears throat> we already know it's related. Yeah. Silly, silly old man, gumshoe. What's that? A parrot. The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident. DL6. We were just talking about yeah. it like a second ago? He's, his eyebrows are very distracting. I think that's his problem. Maybe if, he that, if he shaved his eyebrows, he'd be a better detective. <laughs> <laughs> he himself well, can't even focus because he's distracted by his own eyebrows. I mean, he clearly is. Have you seen his his idol animation? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is an unnecessary flashback. <laughs> this was like ten seconds ago. <laughs> Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? What? Don't forget DL six. What? Huh? That was so long ago. I'm pretty sure the old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? That's what we're trying to figure I don't out. Know. I guess we'll have to fucking open it. Ooh. Wait, what if? What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? <laughs> oh goodness. I get ya. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Yeah, yes! That's where we started Open this up. conversation. Open it up, sir. Through there's the station's records room. I'll give you a special permission to go in and find what you need. Wow, just carte blanche access to everything. Hey, yeah, can we just go look up a bunch of unaffiliated stuff yeah. and just learn a bunch of dirt on people? All right, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. You're a terrible detective. <laughs> Okay, thank, Nick, thank to the God. records room. Thank God he's completely horrible at this job. It it's helps us out a lot. usually good for us. I guess it's time we face Edward's past. <clears throat> the one that he refused to face. We'll do it for him. This is ethical. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's amazing. Lee Dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find the DL6 stuff, quick. Why 10 years? Because apparently no detective's able to look at any of these yeah. files, and so none of them ever come in here until a parrot I tells think, them yeah, to. Yeah, like, I think they're implying that the, that the case is from 10 years ago, but, like, that's not... This room is for many things, <laughs> in many cases. But detectives just aren't allowed to look at stuff, And apparently. it's presumably more than 10 years old. 15 years... Oh, no, it's 15 years ago, so I, I have no idea what the 10 years is. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with the fourth gate when he suddenly transferred. <laughs> because of DL6. <laughs> Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'm just going to read it all for you. I'll go get the file, the right file. Well, first I have to get the handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Wouldn't all the files be together? I, I know, right? <clears throat> summary, summary, I found it. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. It's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed, and then the next day comes the part where you have to run from the ice. And the wolves. Because they have to run from climate change. <laughs> have you seen that movie? What? The day after tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where they run from climate change, like it's coming at them like a wave. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, right? Yeah, obviously. I'm a geologist. I can vouch for this. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. This is why Edgeworth always takes the stairs. Oh my gosh. Maybe he does. He probably does. I mean, I would never go in the elevator again if I were him. Yeah. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Wait, really? Can you look? Is that in the file? Wait, he has a fear of earthquakes because there was actually an earthquake at the exact time of the murder? 
I thought it was like the motion of the. I would, yeah, I yeah. thought I thought earthquakes just remind him of the elevator from when me, he. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Which makes more sense. I feel like. like yeah. The, the, this contrivance. Yeah, I was totally sure that like he would be like, oh, the, the uh, elevators remind him of the, of the uh, uh, earthquakes remind him of the elevator his father was killed in. Because because I imagine if you're going to kill someone on an elevator, you would like stop the elevator and then kill them and then like. Or, or I don't. I, are uh, you going to kill them in the time it takes you to get from like floor one to floor four? Like it's really fast. Yeah, just quick and smooth. Just boom, headshot and go out. Don't I, make it. Don't make a ruckus. Nobody has time to react. I just imagine someone no, like no witnesses. like punching. Kid, you just leave. That I guess. emergency stop button and then murdering the other person and then like climbing through the elevator shaft or something. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Elevator? Or Devil. It's called Devil. Devil's fucking... Uh, so I have, a, I have a really specific memory of Devil, which is that I saw the trailer for it in a theater, and you could tell that everyone was into it. Like everyone was like, oh, this looks, this looks good. And then at the very, very end of the trailer, it says, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and you just hear like 30 people go, oh. oh. <laughs> It just like fucking the opinion of the movie just plummeted in real time because his, his fucking reputation is so thoroughly trashed that an anonymous group of random theater goers like all, all unanimously decided that they all were like this movie looks good and then like oh. I thought the premise was cool I remember like I went and saw it in yeah, theaters I, hate, I didn't like it the movie fucking <clears throat> cheated yeah well the person who I knew. So if you the, guys have never seen it, the whole point the is that bullshit. these people are stuck in an elevator and one of them is literally Satan. There's also like... But there's uh, like six people or something. And you need to like figure out which person's Satan. Somebody also tests whether or not it's Satan by throwing a piece of toast to see if it'll land butter side down. And it yeah. does. Like, wow, that means the devil's here. Well, because apparently Cause, that's a folk's <laughs> tale or whatever. A wives' was, tale. But the thing is, is butter, the butter side would be slightly heavier. I just want to point that out. Yeah. Because there's butter on it. So like you, it might actually fall. It, it probably falls on its... Like Butterside, fifty one percent of the yeah. time. As but it's one of those things where you have a ship in a bottle situation, which is exactly what I like to watch. Which we talked about in the previous episode too, and everything the ship in the bottles. But the whole premise is like, which one's the killer? Who? Which one's the baddie? And then like one of them keeps like getting eliminated periodically. So it's like this like this hidden stakes. Like, oh, which one of them is it? It wasn't that person. Oh shit! Like the, the narrative would like point at a certain person and maybe being them, but then that person would get killed. You're like, fuck! It's not them. Or they have like a motive or something. They're like, they, this person yeah. like has a whole history, so but it can't be that person because it's yeah. not like they're Satan because they have like a whole life that it was like the circle but worse. Because in the circle they also do the thing where they're trying to figure out like, are, is this like. About who sinned or something? Like, is it about like our past? Like, is this is there a reason that we're all connected here? Like, See, that's why like the Saw movies for because yeah, the, they're all like the in their group. circle and Saw both handle this better. Their group like then, murder spoiler, situations. But spoilers. Like, why, do, why are we all here? Spoilers. They fucking cheat, <laughs> and a fucking <laughs> ah, this is the person who a person who was already killed gets back up, and they were the devil all along, killing everyone. I'm like, fuck you. And also, <laughs> you, you stole that from Saw because that was well. Damn, I just ruined the end of Saw for some person. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is a dangerous playthroughs to watch. That that was like one of the best endings ever. Well, not ever, but like that was a fantastic ending. The when first, the first person movie gets up ideas. at the end of Saw, and I'm like, what? I remember being, I was a little kid when that came out. I think I was like, I actually was just talking to my brother about this. I think I was like the first, nine. The first Saw is kind of like a master class and <laughs> like super low budget horror i was like what like it blew my mind when i was a kid and yeah it's another ship in a bottle but yeah and it's a good movie but it, i like the premise of devil i just don't think it was ex i think it was executed in an it m night Shyamalan yes. kind of way <laughs> but the premise itself was interesting to me uh, just go watch the circle instead it's not great or lots better, of other it's things better than it's better than devil at its own thing but anyways, yeah, uh, movie anyway, takes place in an elevator. <laughs> I don't recognize this room without three repeating heads of people with brown hair over and over again going. Gur, 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 and also like gur, gur. a bearded man in the in the back end looking yeah. confused and not being capable of doing anything. We can see the chair, which is like styling. It is pretty. And like, it looks actually like out of place in this room. It's like the wrong color, and like it's you would think it would be like squarey, because when it's all curvy and shit, it looks like a like a villain throne. It was like, it was not the aesthetic you're going for. I need to find a throne for some photo shoots I want to do. If anyone knows where to find like really nice thrones, let me know. Yeah. I want some like satanic looking stuff. I want a throne so. I can cut. <laughs> yeah. Draw some blood. Kill a man. <laughs> with, some, with some demon faces carved in it or something. 
Genuine question, if anyone knows. Whoa. Part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Wow. You'd think you'd quake-proof your buildings in Japan. I LA. Mean, LA. LA. Both of which have, like, both of which should be quake-proof buildings. Yeah. It's funny, because both of those are interchangeably These settings have things earthquake, in common. like, prone. So, yeah. wow, that was some earthquake. And they were in an elevator? At that time, three people were trapped in the elevator. One of them was a devil! Is that the guard from the prison? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, what if what if this is like a saw thing at the end of He's the, the whole Phoenix Wright the whole Phoenix Wright series? That guy he turns was behind and looks, it. He was behind it all. He's Jigsaw. He turns and looks at you and he's like, I was actually behind all the crimes. You're a fraud. So many people died because you're a bad lawyer. That I would love that. Please, please. <laughs> They're still making these, so please let the, let the last one be that. I'd it be took, so happy. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Wow, that's a long time. Five hours. That'd be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the, in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? Elevator would be. I don't think it's how that works. Yeah, what? Well, it seems like a bad idea for the elevator to be like that. It's like a failure of safety protocols. Yeah, I don't think it's allowed to be. If that the power way. goes out, everyone in the elevator suffocates. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think they allow that to happen. <laughs> One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. Because he, he shot him. But actually, he couldn't see anything, so he was a liar. Because oh. <laughs> he was in the dark. So, so Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in the elevator. And the other one was the murderer, unless it was Edgeworth. And he has split personality. <gasps> he Whoa. He's Jekyll and Hyde. He He's, killed his dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, to, <laughs> do you have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim under V for victim. Here, I found it. <laughs> That's how we sort things. Not by case, but by letter. Yeah, like victim and gun. <laughs> oh, he, oh my gosh, he looks like Gregory Peck. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Maybe. Gregory Edgeworth, 35. Defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost the day's uh, case in court and got on the elevator with the son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. Oh, so he was in the elevator with his father? Yes. Yeah, Remember we, this, we, Maya. Yeah, Maya. Come on. <laughs> From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? This case, <laughs> yeah. Hmm, it sounds just like the current case. What's going on here? What happened to hearing three bangs? Yeah, they keep forgetting to mention that part. So the, the victim, I think, the, what was the breakdown? The victim was shot once, but two bangs were heard, but three fires were shot. Yeah. The, uh, three shots were fired. <laughs> fires were shot. You shoot, okay. You're just shooting flames. I'm a firefighter. <laughs> pow, pow, die, fire. <laughs> my fit, my favorite, my firefighting weapon of choice is my Glock. <laughs> it's like Smokey the Bear out shooting fires. <laughs> this is the most American thing ever. If you were, if you fire enough bullets, you deprive the air, the fire of oxygen because you replace it with air with bullets. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's a lot of bullets. <laughs> t-shirt i would like this t-shirt please <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, got any data on the suspect in there <laughs> hmm that would be the guy that my mom got arrested way to say it like that hold on this is it the man arrested as the suspect in dl6 was yanni yogi Bear. <laughs> hey, boo boo. 
I'm just looking to shoot some people. Woohoo! <laughs> I, just, I just predicted a bear shooting thing with guns. <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> did. We got, we got Yogi. I'm a winner. Wow, that's funny, actually. <laughs> uh, hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. I hate, just, I hate fires. Pow pow. Is it, do you think, do you think, uh, yep, this is Yogi? Uh, yep. Because well, we, we mysteriously can't name this guy. He could be a guru. Like, you know, he, he was he, the murderer. Maybe he was the murderer. <laughs> could be an actual yogi. Like some yoga, you know, like some <laughs> like yogi. Yeah, like an actual, yeah. you know, spiritualist. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. Oh, so he wasn't the murderer. Well, he wasn't the first murderer. <laughs> I bet you it is that guy. Wait. <laughs> Wait, is it just the guard? Is the guard the murderer? We've been setting him up this entire game. Yeah, I'm he's just been in the background I'm of the entire game you. because he's the murderer for the final case. That's why he doesn't move because he's just thinking about how he doesn't want you to pay attention to him. <laughs> he's like, "Don't look at me. I didn't do nothing." Okay. Oh, so he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Robert Hammond. Him and the victim in our case? Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much so he had brain damage. Oh my gosh, it is that old man. It's the old man. It's the old uh, man. It's the old man. He <clears throat> lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? A boat shop? A wet noodle shop? I don't know. He may be closer than we think. He may be the only remaining character in this case. In a game built around rather economical narratives where no characters are wasted. Yeah. They have to well, except draw for draw a new person and shit. Uh, Penny. Except for Penny. <laughs> yeah, Penny was useless. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Uh, PTSD symptoms? Nick. Are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. What? Is it like a box? Can you put it in a Can box? Can you just carry a box? What the fuck? Y you're right. I thought we'd just take all, the th all what we think we'll need. Okay. <laughs> we can't possibly carry all this. I guess I'll just take one manila folder. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I guess I just wanted justification for not drawing you a box of files. They could yeah. have drawn you a box of files. They would have to draw another thing. Usually they do keep them in individual boxes per case. Yeah. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Why didn't we get the files for the case? Well, maybe the, this current case isn't in there because it's only for completed cases. You don't know. No, 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 no. Maya's mom. The case, that tr that trial, th that they just oh. lost. We didn't look up that case, we only looked up the elevator case. But we didn't look up the case that le that led to that, which might have been the motivation for the murder. Because they murdered a lawyer in an elevator on the way out of a case. <laughs> well, no, 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 wait. They were leaving a trial that he just lost. No, 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 no. No, Maya's mom helped in the Edgeworth dad's murder case. No, I'm not accusing Maya. I'm, I'm saying that trial. We should ha we should look at that case too. Well, no, 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 no. No, the one that Maya's mom was involved in is the trial we just looked at. No, we we looked at the case for the incident in the elevator. Yeah, isn't that isn't that the trial that she no. did mediuming on? They were leaving the trial she was in. And they didn't say that. They didn't say it yeah. was that specific trial. Yes. Did they? Yeah, like, no, I'm pretty. Because that's the trial that that's the trial that sh that famously they got Maya's mom involved in, and she got that one guy arrested. But then the defense, but then the uh, prosecutor lost the trial. Uh, the defense attorney lost the trial. No, but but Robert Hammond was the lawyer that won against, basically won against Maya's mom. Yeah. Robert Hammond. But Maya's is mom the guy. was not a lawyer. No, she's a medium. The lawyer was Edgeworth's dad. I thought the lawyer was the person who was trying to figure out Edgeworth's dad's murder. Edward's dad lost the case featuring Maya's mom and this person, and then then he got killed in the elevator on the way out. As far as I can tell. Oh. 
Okay, I see, I see. Okay, okay, got so it. So like we, so that's when like. Wait, no, 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 because they said they said that the, the the guy who suffocated got off the hook because of Robert Hammond. Yeah. Isn't that the one that Maya's mom's lawyer person that she was helping was fighting against? I think Hammond was in the case about Edgeworth's dad's murder, and I think Maya was in the case that they just lost. See, that's not the impression I got, but... I think Maya... I think Maya... I, I think... Because I think Edgeworth's dad worked with Maya. Maya's dead mom. I don't think that was... I don't think it was after he died. I thought it was to figure out the... My, Miles' dad's murder. I think that's what that is. I don't think so. That's okay. We'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> It's like, unfortunately, there's no like case file you can look at. It's no. Handy. No. <laughs> I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Damn. <laughs> We're going to trial, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, Daddy. I got a subpoena, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that subpoena. Uh, do you need a break, or do you want to just go into the trial? I'm cool. We haven't. It's only been like 40 minutes in. I'm cool. Finally, it's the next day. We were on December 26th for so long. <laughs> we were on December 26th for actual real life days. Yeah. Which is funny to think about. Oh no, we, uh, whenever we sit down to record this game, it proceeds at roughly the same schedule that we do. <laughs> well, I know that, but- Like it takes us like three days to finish a, a trial in real life. In oh this yeah, game. I was act that's probably <laughs> actually right. Cause we, we in, in each session we usually do like about like one trial and one like adventure game walk around bit. Yeah. And then, so like we actually are proceeding forward at the same rate as the game. <laughs> wow. It's for role playing. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mm. Don't remember his voice anyway. Just be a dick. He's Castlevania. And just be a dick. Yeah. Very well. Apparently the prosecution is also ready. I can tell from his aura. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the judge here anyway? Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. He's actually a huge hippie. Very well, no opening statements, so... Objection! Oh, I forgot Not that. Not so fast, Judge. Oh, I love him. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. Right, of course. I wanted to add emphasis on what I a was prediction. going to say. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Damn! Instant Damn. KO. I'm gonna, I will now begin my filibuster. <laughs> <laughs> I will stand here for three minutes. Get, get fucked. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, Phoenix Wright should just purposefully talk really yeah. slow and make three this minutes guy's, pass. This guy's just irritating. Order, order. I like him. Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Ooh. Bah, you question everything. Must you question everything? Yes. That is the it's job a, here. It's a trial. Are you new here? This guy lowers my estimation of Edgeworth <laughs> for like dealing with him. It's like it, it makes me like Edgeworth less that he deals with this guy. And I was like, wow, what a mentor figure. It's like this guy's a fucking lunatic. Well, if anything, it proves that Edgeworth actually has a soul because he didn't turn out like this guy verbatim. He actually like yeah. is more lenient. If we just sit here and talk for a while, we can just prove him wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. It might have already been three minutes. We have no time to waste. It's your. Do you have somewhere to be? Do you, did you make dinner reservations on accident? So you need to like. He's like, damn it! I have make a, a show out of leaving the truck. I have a hot date in like forty minutes. I fucked up. Yeah. I need to go home and uh, change my neckerchief. And I don't have a car because this is Japan. So I need to like. Uh, L.A. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Japan, California. <laughs> I call my witness now. Japan Angeles. Right. I call my witness, my decisive witness, to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shop owner. It's not a decisive witness. The mysterious boat shop owner we already know the name of. Witness, state your profession. He thinks he's going to be done with this guy in three minutes? Yeah, good luck, buddy. 
Does he know this guy? Mmm. Ah, yeah. And the proprietor of the restaurant, the Wet Noodle at Gord Lake. And I uh, also rent boats. I don't know why, but I do. The night of the incident. Were you in the boat rental shop? You were in the boat rental shop, correct? Uh, yep. Yep, I was. Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this old guy is. No, raise an objection. Always object. Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Ugh. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah. I think it's fucking important. I have predicted this trial will end in three minutes. No one gives a shit. It's not your choice. No one cares about your weird time limit. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. He <laughs> I love him. <laughs> the witness will state his name. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm not really sure. Yep. What do you mean? My, uh, memory? Your Honor. The witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. I think as a whole. Didn't anyone? Like, I mean, check with him. I was gonna Give say him I'm an not... ID card, like a name tag. I was gonna say, <laughs> you think that even he could like look in his wallet can and be just, like, can he just relearn his name? Yeah. If apparently he can recall new information. Well, and he knows Keith so, and Meg. Yeah. Which is apparently from his past. Well, Keith and Meg are his kids. Yeah. So he can recall the past. Yeah. I was There's say, a lot of gaps in this logic. There's a lot of uh, actual information on like. Uh, long-term versus short-term memory. I don't think this really adheres to the actuality of any of those situations. Yeah. I think either you can lose one or the other. Yeah, he either has his long-term memory or he doesn't. So either he remembers his kids and therefore would be able to remember his name, or he doesn't remember his kids, but but then he has to just relearn his name. But you could just... There's no way he wouldn't be able to relearn like his name. It sounds like he still can create memories. Yeah. So, so he, he has short-term memory. So he short -term can just fucking memory. learn his name. <laughs> Yes. Like, society doesn't work that way. You don't just, he remembers like, the wet noodle. magically vanish. The wet noodle is his like, past. You would just learn your name again. I don't know. I think I think you do, like, have certain inherent information you, you don't really forget, hmm. no matter what, but... You can't recall, you say? I'm not a psychologist. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yes, but the incident in the question took place three days ago. You can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony, then, shall we, witness? The night of the murder! Ooh, I'm ooh, I'm spooky. Fucking buying time while I readjust. I gotta lean forward to denunciate good gooder. Good very very gooder, Keith. It was a night of the it was the night of the twenty-fourth, just after midnight. Yep. Yep. Objection! No. <laughs> I was in the restaurant where I rent boats as usual. That's what the rest Objection! <laughs> then I heard a bang. Yep. Uh, yep. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just a floating on the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore, and a man walks by my window. Hmm. Very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. He didn't mention muttering. <laughs> There's nothing to question about my witness testimony. This guy just fucking bosses people around. He's like the bully lawyer. Yeah, that's how you win. This is why Edgeworth is a little cheating dickbag. Yeah, it is. But he's nicer than this we guy. Should, we should probably just not defend him so he goes to jail. And then he'll stop, like, convicting innocent people every day. <laughs> you know, you know, act, the greater, actually, wait, The greater hold good on. involves sending Edgeworth to jail. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, can I accuse this guy of the murder so I can send him to jail, too? I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> say, all these people need to go in jail. If, if we're just going to invent the law as we go along, like... I guess the implication is that before you showed up, Edgeworth was constantly getting people yeah, sent to jail. That I, I probably step didn't it do it. And create an Edgeworth-like ultimatum where I'm like, you need to prove... 
you need to prove this case in three minutes or you're the murderer. And then it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> like that one time they, they they bet that on you. But like, if yeah. you lose, then like your yeah. defendant ha- will go to jail no matter yeah. what. No, this like, is exactly the kind of bullshit that this game runs on. So like, fuck it. Take charge. Be assertive. Phoenix, make up your own rules, too. Yeah. It's, it's Blurn's ball. There's no, nothing matters. <laughs> Blurn's ball. <laughs> <laughs>